what you guys got another video here for you on how to fix you can't select a windows 10 edition during the clean installation process and what we need to do now is open up notepad on our computer and we need to put in this uh, text here i will leave this in the video description click file save as this is where we're going to need to put this into a usb flash drive with our freshly created bootable media here go into sources and then we need to give this a name of quotation mark and then we want to do ei and then dot cfg then quotation mark and what we need to do now is boot up to that usb flash drive you'll see it boot up to the same machine here and you'll get the loading screen coming up here and hopefully once during the installation process we should get that option to change uh, to windows 10 pro or whatever version you want to use so click install now and this is where we should get that uh, option to change what operating system we want to install on this system and there you go so we've got windows 10 home and we can now change this to windows 10 pro and then click next and this will then go through the process of installing that version of windows 10 on this system now I've seen this happen on pre-built systems. So those pre-built systems like HP, Dell, uh, this generally happens on those because it already knows it wants to install Windows 10 Home because that is the key that's activated on the uh, motherboard and it will just generally install that version of Windows 10, which is not what I want on this system. So that's basically how you can work around it and remove that from the system here. So go next. And there you go, we've got the installation process of Windows 10 Pro on this computer. So you can see the installation has been completed and we now have or should have Windows 10 Pro on the system, which means now we can activate Windows 10 Pro. And I've already gone ahead and uh, got the key installed on here. So this should be uh, activated already. Let me just quickly show you here. So you can see, I'm gonna go into uh, the update and security here and inside here I can go to activation and you should see that we are activated with Windows 10 Pro anyway I think that is going to be about it for this video that's how you can fix you can't select the Windows 10 edition during the clean installation process